Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go ahead and um, I've all prepped up on about three hands. So I'm going to do, um, it might be one video, if not a couple videos. I'm going, I got a couple ideas that I want to do. So I'm going to um, go ahead and do them. On this one, we're going to do um, a little bit of color blocking on one and another one, like a Frenchy color blocking. And then on another one, I'm going to do some really cool, um, uh, I guess, three-dimensional flowers. Um, so I'm trying to think which colors I want to do here. So this, this, and well, I haven't used mixed tape yet. Let's do mixed tape. So we're going to use um, Fast Love. I don't know if I got you in camera. Fast Love by, and these are all from Secret Nail Affairs, uh, Por Vida and Mixtape. So I'm going to use those three first for my color blocking. I'm going to do that on the middle finger. So we're going to go ahead and start with, uh, and then of course I have my clear coat from two guys we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the um, uh, Fast Love uh, for the first part of the Frenchie. Um... And I might do a, a V Frenchie here. Let's see. Mm -mm. But that that that's my goal today, guys, is to get. I seen it done. Um, uh, not with these particular acrylics, but I did see someone else do a color blocking, and I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. And I, I was like, oh, I have some really cute Valentine's colors I can do that with. So I really wanted to try with these Valentine's colors. Okay. Okay. And I can make it, I obviously can add here. I'm just trying to make it a really nice V here. Okay, and I haven't done a Frenchie like this in forever. Like, I might be going a little too uh, ambitious for myself at first, but yeah, you live and learn, right guys? Live and learn. It'll work or it won't work, one of the two. And that's okay, we will figure it out. So... I just think I'm not making um, the Frenchie big enough. Um, like, in other words, I started to make the V definitely way too soon. And that's okay. My mistake. Yeah, I don't think the V should start till way down here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this back up. <laughs> But we will see how, like I said, it's been years since I've done a Frenchie like this. And I see you guys do them all the time and they look so cute. So I thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. I'm not going to hurt anything, right? I'm going to put you there for now. Okay. Put some more in the back. Thicken that up real quick. There we go. Okay, now add the tip to make the V.
Okay. I think I just need to add a little bit right there. Mm, I don't know. Because I don't want it to be too... Too much of an apex there. Okay, I think I like that. I'm gonna let that harden and then I'll file it to clean it up a little bit. So then now, um, let's see, what do I want to do on this one? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> let's do a complete glitter. And then, um, well, no, we'll do the solid red for Viva for, yeah. And then I'll add the roses and stuff on top of it with some bling. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I, this color is really pretty. I don't, this color is, yeah, I really like this color. Because it's not super, super bright red. Um, and it's not pink either. But it's right in between the two. So it has a little bit of a, more of a pink hue to it. Than it would a super bright, bright red. So I do like that. And guys, please bear with me. This isn't the best practice hand in the world. So, like, the, the cuticle sides are a little almost level with the nails because uh, it doesn't give me a high wall like that. So, do bear with me. Um, but at least I get to do my ideas. So, I thank you. But, like I said, it's, it's not the best hand, but it is a hand and it works. So, I don't mind it. But trust me, I do understand. It looks like it's all over this lady's cuticles and all that good stuff. It's just there is no well for some reason because these um, these fingernails, there is no um, no hole to put the tips in. So I normally what I've been doing is using my gel and building up a fingernail and then applying my tip since there's no well. So I do have a regular, a, a, a better hand on order. Um, it should be coming. I, f I forgot to track it so I can see when it comes, but it's okay. It'll get here and then I'll have it. So, yep, yeah, okay. There we go. And I'll probably put a clear on this too because it's it really isn't, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't have to put a clear on it if I don't want to, but I might just for a little, we'll see what it needs. Needed a little bit right there. Okay. Clean the brush out real good. Even though I'm gonna use it again, I'm gonna move those out of my way so that I can use my file here. And we're going, going to go ahead and file this real quick. Might need to wait for that other one to dry too, but it's okay, I'm not hitting it. I'm gonna clean up around my cuticles and everything too. Might as well while I'm here, just in case when I do put the clear on, it uh doesn't add too much product. That's all.
Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure that I got it nice and crisp. Clean up what I want. I'm gonna file a little bit of that peak down there. The middle part's just a little high, and when I put that clear on, I don't want it too high. So I'm gonna clean that up. There we go. Now clean the edges up again. Um, once I'm done. There we go. Oops, sorry guys. Are you guys still in frame? Oh, nope, let me move it. Because I bumped it. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to do the red on this one. Let's go ahead. Now this, like I said, guys, it's a new thing for me. So we'll see if it works. Because I've never done color blocking. But I definitely wanted to try it. We'll go on this side first. So I'm going to leave my balls a little bit drier than I normally would so that I can play with it a little easier here. There we go. And then... Take some of it, put it over here. Go ahead, put in a little bead. Trying to make sure that I got it all. Nice, very, very dry, dry beads. Dry, dry beads. Shut the door, please. I'm not sure if it was my oldest or the grandbaby, but one of them. Clean this edge up a little bit. Make it a little, yeah, it's crisp. There we go, nice, crisp, crisp edge. Clean that one up. Now straighten this one up. And that one. Get it all nice and crisp here. I think I waited for too long for this one. So I'll try to match it. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not that, I guess, disappointed in myself. <laughs> so then while that's drying, we'll go ahead and do the um, mixed tape on the pinky and the index finger. So now let's, mixed tape guys is so cute. It has all different colors, um, holographic, opalescent, red, pink, I think gold, um, quite a few different ones. And of course I'm gonna play around with it here trying to get the acrylic to lay flat the best I can, or the, I'm not, I'm sorry, not the acrylic, the glitter. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh, I lost a piece of glitter. There we go. Okay, another little bead. I mean, it is 
gorgeous. And I mean, it has regular hearts. It has the uh, tailed hearts. Um, yeah, and this is one of the Valentine's collections from uh, Secret Nail Fair. Um, I ended up getting one of their scoops that they had on TikTok. Um, they have a TikTok live um, scoop parties. And when you're on their website, in which case I will link it below, all you have to do is when you see them a day that they post um, uh, scoops available, like pre-order scoops, um, that means that they're going to have a, a, a scoop party coming up. Um, it might not be that exact same day, but they do normally post it, especially if you have their t text notification, um, they will n notify you when they're going to have that scoop party. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think on this one, I'm going to do an ombre. I'm just trying to decide if I want glitter to ombre or uh, red to um, glitter or glitter to red. Hmm. Let's do glitter to red. So let's put the red on first. And I'm going to make it a pretty low red. Add a little bit more. There we go. That's much nicer. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and... Oh, wait a minute, that's a little thin on this side. And there. Okay, much better. Much, much better. Okay. There we go. Move that out of the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the glitter on this one Well, before I go ahead and do this one, only because I can do it now while I'm waiting um, because I gotta file that and everything still. So let's just go ahead and put the glitter on here real quick. That lip is so cute. There's a red lip right there. And a couple hearts. Yeah, that's where I want the red lip, right there. Okay. There we go. trying to get some of these hearts to lay flat and not overlap each other too much. There we go. And I got a lip down there too. How cute. Cat hair. There, and that one's good. Now, I'm going to go ahead, close those two up real quick, and then go ahead and file that red so that I can go ahead and put up the uh, glitter.
There we go. Trying to make it a little bit more pointy, even though I still, I like it the way it is, but if I can make it just a tad bit. Okay. And of course I'm trying to um, get a nice level together here with that pink or the red in the, the neutral. Um, so that when I do put the clear on, I'm not gonna be adding a horrendous amount. Cause I mean, I don't need the apex that high. Um, the clear can do that for us. So. There we go. There, oh, much better. There was a little spot there, okay. Now. So glad this isn't a human's hand. Huh, I would have broke her finger probably about 20 times. <sighs> okay, let's clean that off. No, oh, hold on. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the glitter at the end. Sorry, garbage. <laughs> okay. Glitter. Oh, I got a lot of lips on that one this time. Okay. See if I can move them around. So they're not going to be too bulky in certain spots. I'm gonna lip on both sides. That's perfect. Okay. And here's some hearts. That one and that heart right there. Oh. They're gorgeous. They they have a holographic um, hue to them. I mean, they're just awesome. Okay, we're going to put that one there. That one there. Clean that up a little bit. There we go. Clean this side up a little bit. Make sure my tip looks good. Make, make sure my hearts are all on there. And not falling off okay and let that harden and then we're going to clear it with a clear coat i just need to get more monomer so i've been using the secret nail monomer and also the two guys monomer today it's the two guys monomer so <coughs> excuse me i have a little bit of a dry cough still so sorry Okay, so put that in there, and then I need my clear. Oh, wait, I have it right here. Good. My two guys, crystal clear. Clean that top off. <laughs> I can close this up now. Okay, and then let me go ahead and fold this. <laughs> Now, normally the clear will 
sometimes get really bulky in the the brush. Mm, not as bad as I would expect, but it does. I like my brush. It's a size 10 and it's by Model 1. I got it on Amazon. I will have it linked below, um, but I do like it. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, I'm not someone who likes those sizes, 14s and 16s. I, I never have because when I, because my nails themselves are real um, small and narrow. So when I do my nails, it's, you know, I, you know, because I practice on myself the most. Um, yeah, it, I'm not a big fan of those big ones on my, my tiny little fingernails because I bite my nails. So my nail beds are really, really small. So yeah, I I just don't like those big, big sizes. So that's just me. I mean, maybe eventually I will, but mm, it hasn't happened for at least 20 plus years. So I don't know if it's really going to happen at all. <laughs> so, but I wouldn't mind trying one of the Kira Sky uh, brushes. Um, I've heard lots and lots of pluses on theirs. So I would, um, yeah, if I get the opportunity, I might go ahead and, uh, try one of theirs or would like to at least. Uh, so that would be a plus. Okay. But I'm just encapsulating. Um, I don't really have to with this red, but I want to. Um, it just makes it. The more the pigment, the weaker the acrylic. So when you put the uh, clear on, it will make the nail itself a lot stronger. So normally when you're using a really, really pigmented acrylic, you should always encapsulate. Oh, that one fell off. <laughs> It'll be okay. And I'm going to go straight to this one since this one I did last. So we're going to go to your my index finger first. Okay, and we'll encapsulate this one. And I'm making sure my apex and everything else, no high lows, all that good stuff, because we don't want a really big apex, but this is when you're gonna be double checking your apex when you're putting this final coat on. So you're always gonna wanna double look. move it up towards the cuticle and around the cuticle but not on the cuticle and again make sure you're watching your apex looking at it cleaning it up making it look all nice i got a little bit of a low spot Now we're going to go ahead, let me double check this one. Got a low spot right there. I thought I did earlier, but I wasn't sure. Put a little bit more right there. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, and that one still looks good other than it's falling off. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go ahead and encapsulate my color blocking and see how we did. <laughs> okay. I like it so far. I might have maybe... Next time I'll go with Shy Girl from Two Guys instead of this uh, this neutral. It's kind of more of on a mauve tone, but that's okay because I mean I'm using reds, and that's in that same um, kind of mix. But when I do the blue one, I'll do the Shy Guy or Shy Girl. I'm sorry, sorry, Shy Girl. 
not guy. <laughs> I can't think, guys. <laughs> okay. And I love putting the clear on because it goes on so, so smooth, like butter, that when I'm going like this, and if I don't see any high spots and low spots, I don't have a lot to buff or file. I mean, cleaning up the edges and stuff, that's a whole different ball game. But it's so smooth. Like, I don't have a lot. I'm going to have to glue her back on. Uh, hold on. I'll get her real quick. Clean that up. Close that. Close this up. Okay. And what I've been gluing these on with, in which case this is where it's crazy, <clears throat> I put a builder base on or I use my gel-like six-in-one um, glue. So I'll polish this on like that and then use my little um, brush here, or I'm sorry, light, cure it for just a second or so. And then take the tip, in which case, let me clean that up real quick of that other glue that's on here. Okay. Okay. And a little alcohol to prep that underneath. Okay. Let it dry for a second. And then take this, the gel like six in one, Paul, clean it on there, turn my little light bulb on, my flashlight. And of course, try to glue it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll stick it on something else and finish the nail up. The other ones are sticking on. I don't know why this one wanted to pop off, but that's okay. Let me cure it for just a a little bit longer before I start filing and doing all that other stuff. Actually, since we're waiting anyways, let me go ahead and take it off and put it in there for 30. So let's go ahead and let's clean some of these up now. In which case, like I said, guys, this, uh, the, the actual clear is so smooth on top that I might just have to hit it with um, the buffer. I, I mean, in which case I'm going to, um, yeah, just hit it with the, the buffing block. That's all I should have to hit it with uh, on the top. And then around my cuticles, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, safety bit out and clean that up a little bit like I would if it was a client. Right now, I'm going to clean up the sides. The first things we always do, keeping your file at a 90 degree angle straight so you can clean those sides. Make the shape, stay, keep this shape of the nail. And let me get the pinky here. Hopefully it'll stay on. Even though I kind of already got some of the pinky. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to switch out my... Um, that's not the one I want. Hold on here, I'm sorry. This one. And that's a little big, but... Yeah, it's better than the other one. Okay. Yeah, it's too big. Hold on. I do need the other one I wanted. No, where to go? Right there. Because it'll get right up in there for me. Just like I would if it was a client. Okay. 
These came out really cute, guys. Really cute. I might have to do some of these Valentine's ones on me. These came out really cute. Okay, there we go. Right around. Okay. That's that for that. And then all I should have to do, like I said, take my uh, buffing block here. And obviously the core side first and just buff. Perfect because I can't find my other filing block. Hmm. Oh, they look good though, guys. They look good. Okay. I like the color blocking. It did come out. Like I said, though, I'm not a fan of this color. <clears throat> Next time I'll maybe pick a different color. But it still came out gorgeous. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's do, okay, rhinestone glue, here you come. <laughs> and this is um, China Glaze and it's for rhinestones. It works. I like it. Um, you don't have to do anything special. It does dry a little quickly. Um, so you definitely have to know where you're going to place things or they will, it'll dry before you can get all your rhinestones on there. Okay. I want those two there. Hold them. Okay. And then the pink one or the white one, excuse me. Now I can't even think of my colors, guys. And the white one. Okay, now I want to get my rhinestones out. Let's do I want to do this little bit of size and a nice medium size. Okay, there we go. Now what happened to my You got wax in you. Let's see. Oh, wrong thing. Mm, no. Let me get some wax in this real quick, guys. So it'll work proper. In which case, I'll show it to you guys here in just a sec. Um, I'm just cleaning out the old um, wax that's in it. Uh, now, so... When you guys buy these, they do sell them for um, nails, in which case that's fine. But then they also sell them for what people call uh, diamond painting. So, um, in which case you'll find them at Michael's and all that kind of stuff too. And literally they're just a, a pen. Let me see if I can show you guys. It, it's just a pen that has a hole in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. In which case, this one still has a little bit of wax already still in it. But it's a pen with a little bit of hole in it. Well, you know, on your diamond paintings, they sell this little sticky, tacky wax um, that, that comes with the kits and so forth. And it, again, it's just sticky, tacky. And you uh, put your pen in there and spin it. And then, of course, see, it made a hole. So now it's filled with the wax. And you can pick up rhinestones or the uh, diamond painting little beads. So I use it for my rhinestones because it works the best for me. So let's go ahead and decide where we want to put some rhinestones. Up here by this flowers. Okay. I'm going to put some big ones in there because, of course, we have to compete with these roses, in which case the roses are gorgeous. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm going to put some more on this side, too, down here in between these guys. Okay. Because I do like that look. It looks really cute. There we go. Squish it in there. 
squish it in there. I put a couple tiny ones in there. To Oh yeah, guys, that is cute. Okay, let me go to this side now. Oh yeah, that is cute. I'm gonna just go ahead and cover this side. Grab these ones and put them on there. I think my wax is a little too sticky compared to the Rhinestone glue. I'm gonna put some small ones right there instead. So I'm gonna slide that one down, slide that one down, and slide that one down, and then grab some of these tinier ones and put here in the middle. I can feel the rhinestone glue already drying. It's tacky, but not perfect. So we'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna put a couple small ones up underneath here. There we go. And then another. Let's put another small one right there. And oh, thought I had one, I didn't have one. Okay. Oh, and I gotta put a few more, it looks like next to this one. I don't know. Oh, I like that. That is so cute, guys. No, I do. Over here on this white one, I got to add just a little bit more. It's kind of like I have it covering those ones, but not this one. So we're going to put, and I think I can't fit the big ones. I think I'm only going to be able to fit some of these small ones around because of the tip. In which case, I will show you when I'm all done, guys, because uh, I know it's hard to see this side of the nail. So I do apologize. Okay. I will show you here. For some reason, that white rose doesn't feel like it's completely secure. I will have to check that out. Oh yeah, that is so far cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some bling to the top of the this one. I know you guys seen that all the time, but um, it just doesn't seem enough for me. So, and I got a couple different sizes here. So I got this one. That's that's the that's the biggest one. Those are the biggest ones. Here's the next size. And then the tiny ones. Or not tiny, but um cuz there's there's even a tinier size. side there yeah I like that look okay oh that like that came out cute okay so not those two go there okay now I put you back in there I like these little dividers I have guys for my rhinestones the rhinestones came in plastic bags so I had this container. You can get them at uh, Michael's, and Walmart, or um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. They actually, I'll show you what they come like. Oh, I thought I had one unopened, but I guess I don't. But um, they come like this with 25 of them. 
and you can store them like that. Uh, so if you have a whole bunch of rhinestones, you can definitely do that. And then, like I said, if you're in that same aisle, they got these diamond painting pens. I got a couple different ones. Um, and like I said, guys, they pick up the, uh, the, di the, the rhinestones. And this is the other one they sell at like uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And it's by Diamond Painting. So that you can, uh, you'll pick up those rhinestones a lot easier. Here's another one. It's a, in which case it does have wax in it. And it can pick them up. And again, it is, it's easier to pick up your rhinestones. That's all. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now. Oh. Those are all messed up in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, rhinestones are done. Super gorgeous. Now we're going to go ahead and put my glossy coat on. Yeah, I like, I think I'm going to like it better glossy than I would um, matte. So I'm going to use my Two Guys Supreme Gloss. I like this um, top coat. I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to have to start buying more. I've used the tar out of this thing. You know what? Where's that other one? No, that's not the one I was looking for. Okay. We'll use this one. <laughs> okay. But I do like it. It's, um, it's, it's nice. I mean, it, you want to, I mean, the nails still look wet. Um, they're not sticky at all. Um, I've had a couple that I've bought in before and they stay sticky and I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to go ahead and try to polish around this. And if you guys hear my children in the background, that's my oldest picking on his um, niece. Because <laughs> they're funny with each other. My oldest is, I'm sorry, my youngest is 16. And uh, my grandbaby's six. So they pick on each other. But that's okay. They're allowed to. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Yeah, I love this color blocking. It really came out pretty good. I'm really in, I'm very, very proud of myself because I've never tried color blocking before at all. So I'm very proud that it, it worked out. Okay. I like the, the, the glitter one. Oh man, I love that. I love all of that. Like, the whole thing i'm in yeah i'm gonna take my hand off here and cure her for a whole 60 seconds <coughs> and and i have a whole bunch of other different um i you know things that i can do with these i just don't know um like these are, these ones look like poppies that looks like a little poppy i don't know and i don't know what that would be and there looks like another bigger rose they're really cute yeah so, like I said, guys, you can find things like this at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of those. Um, I'm going to do, a, on my next couple sets, I think I'm going to do a, a dangly on there, or a charm, I should say. So, I got these charms. I've had them for a while. Some are opalescent. Um, I have another one that's just a clear white, um, and so forth. Um, but I, I think I'm going to put one of these on with the, uh, the, with my blue, in which case it's called lover boy from, uh, secret nail affair. Cause that's going to be one of my next ones I do here. Um, and then I'm also going to do an encapsulation, like a water, um, or a snow globe. Yes. I'm going to do one of those too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this hand guys. They came out gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous this one is my fave look at that look at that gorgeous beautiful valentine's nails Valent and if i had anything on the thumb i might have just done red on the thumb no maybe with a few little rhinestones at the top like this but that came out gorgeous guys
gorgeous. Now I can take these out so that they can kind of sit next to each other. Gorgeous. How beautiful. I am. Those are great, guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you feel generous, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. So I guess they're not going to be perfect because I can't find my other filing block. Hmm. Oh, they look good though, guys. They look good. Okay. I like the color blocking. It did come out. Like I said, though, I'm not a fan of this color. <clears throat> Next time I'll maybe pick a different color. But... It still came out gorgeous. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's do the six in one gel. No. Yeah. The gelish glue, six in one jealous glue. I'm going to use it to um, adhere some of these flowers on, in which case I'm going to have to figure out how we want it. Definitely a red one, a pink one. Wait a minute, let's think, yeah, let's put this here, here, and then a white one. And then I'm gonna probably add some rhinestones in there. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Super cute. Okay. So, and what garbage. Okay. Rhinestone glue, here you come. <laughs> and this is um, China Glaze, and it's for rhinestones. It works. I like it. Um, you don't have to do anything special. It does dry a little quickly. Um, so, you definitely have to know where you're going to place things. Or they will, it'll dry before you can get all your rhinestones on there. Okay, I want those two there. Hold them. Okay. And then the pink one, or the white one, excuse me. No, I can't even think of my colors, guys. And the white one. Okay, now I want to get my rhinestones out let's do i want to do this little bit of size and a nice medium size okay there we go now what happened to my oh do you got wax in you let's see oh wrong thing no. Let me get some wax in this real quick, guys. So it'll work proper. In which case, I'll show it to you guys here in just a sec. Um, I'm just cleaning out the old um, wax that's in it. Uh, now, so when you guys buy these, they do sell them for um, nails. In which case, that's fine. But then they also sell them for what people call uh, diamond painting. So, um, in which case you'll find them at Michael's and all that kind of stuff too. And literally they're just a, a pen. Let me see if I can show you guys. It, it's just a pen that has a hole in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. In which case this one still has a little bit of wax already still in it. But it's a pen with a little bit of hole in it. Well, 
you know, on your diamond paintings, they sell this little sticky, tacky wax um, that, that comes with the kits and so forth. And it, again, it's just sticky, tacky. And you uh, put your pen in there and spin it. And then, of course, see, it made a hole. So now it's filled with the wax. And you can pick up rhinestones or the uh, diamond painting little beads. So I use it for my rhinestones. It's the best for me. So let's go ahead and decide where we want to put some rhinestones up here by this flowers. Okay. I'm going to put some big ones in there because, of course, we have to compete with these roses, in which case the roses are gorgeous. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm going to put some more on this side, too, down here in between these guys. I do like that look. It looks really cute. There we go. Squish it in there. Squish it in there. I put a couple tiny ones in there. To. Oh yeah, guys, that is cute. Okay, let me go to this side now. Oh yeah, that is cute. I'm gonna just go ahead and cover this side. Grab these ones and put them on there. I think my wax is a little too sticky compared to the rhinestone glue I'm gonna put some small ones right there instead so I'm gonna slide that one down slide that one down I'm gonna slide that one down and then grab some of these tinier ones and put here in the middle I can feel the rhinestone glue already drying it's tacky, but not perfect. So we'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna put a couple small ones up underneath here. There we go. And then another. Let's put another small one right there. And oh, thought I had one, I didn't have one. And I got to put a few more, it looks like, next to this one. I don't know. Oh, I like that. That is so cute, guys. No, I do. Over here on this white one, I got to add just a little bit more. It's kind of like I have it covering those ones, but not this one. So we're going to put, and I think I can't fit the big ones. I think I'm only going to be able to fit some of these small ones around because of the tip. In which case, I will show you when I'm all done, guys, because uh, I know it's hard to see this side of the nail so I do apologize okay but I will show you here for some reason that white rose doesn't feel like it's completely secure I will have to check that out oh yeah that is super cute I think I'm going to go ahead and add some bling to the top of the this one I know you guys seen that all the time but um, it just doesn't seem enough for me. So, and I got a couple different sizes here. So I got this one. That's that's the that's the biggest one. Those are the biggest ones. 
Here's the next size. And then the tiny ones. Or not tiny, but um, because there's there's even a tinier size. Yeah, I like that look. Okay. Oh, that like that came out cute. Okay, so not those two go there. Okay, now I put you back in there. I like these little dividers I have, guys, for my rhinestones. The rhinestones came in plastic bags. So I had this container. You can get them at uh, Michael's, Walmart, or um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. They actually, I'll show you what they come like. Oh, I thought I had one unopened, but I guess I don't. But um, they come like this with 25 of them, and you can store them like that. Uh, so if you have a whole bunch of rhinestones, you can definitely do that. And then, like I said, if you're in that same aisle, they got these diamond painting pens. I got a couple different ones. Um, and like I said, guys, they pick up the, uh, the, di the, the rhinestones. And this is the other one they sell at like uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And it's by diamond painting. So that you can... Uh, you'll pick up those rhinestones a lot easier here's another one it's a in which case it does have wax in it and it can pick them up and again it is, it's easier to pick up your rhinestones that's all <coughs> excuse me okay now oh, those are all messed up in there okay there we go okay now rhinestones are done super gorgeous now we're gonna go ahead and put my glossy coat on. Yeah, I like. I think I'm gonna like it better glossy than I would um, matte. So I'm gonna use my Two Guys Supreme Gloss. I like this um, top coat. I'm gonna, it looks like I'm gonna have to start buying more. I've used the tar out of this thing. You know what, where's that other one? No, that's not the one I was looking for, okay. We'll use this one. <laughs> okay. But I do like it. It's um it's it's nice. I mean it you want to I mean the nails still look wet. Um they're not sticky at all. Um I've had a couple that I've bought before and they stay sticky and I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to polish around this. And if you guys hear my children in the background. That's my oldest picking on his um, niece. Because they're funny with each other. My oldest is, or I'm sorry, my youngest is 16. And uh, my grandbaby's six. So they pick on each other. But that's okay. They're allowed to. <coughs> I'll go ahead. Yeah, I love this color blocking. It really came out pretty good. I'm really in, I'm very, very proud of myself because I've never tried color blocking before at all. So I'm very proud that it, it worked out. Okay. I like the, the, the glitter one. Oh man, I love that. I love all of that. Like, the whole thing i'm in yeah i'm gonna take my hand off here and cure her for a whole 60 seconds and guys they came out gorgeous look at that gorgeous this one is my fave look at that look at that gorgeous beautiful valentine's nails 
around. And if I had anything on the thumb, I might have just done red on the thumb. No, maybe with a few little rhinestones at the top like this. But that came out gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. Now I can take these out so that they can kind of sit next to each other. Gorgeous. How beautiful. I am. Those are great, guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you feel generous, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.